Hey, what are you doing here? Are you testing out modern classics like me? GolfWRX.com, we test golf clubs. The second swing has the best used club selection around. Let's go test out these modern classics. Come on. I'm Andrew Tursky, head of tour content for GolfWRX.com. Before every PGA Tour event, I go out to talk to the players about what clubs they have in the bag and why. For the most part, they're playing either high-end custom clubs or the newest possible products. But not all the clubs are new or custom. Sometimes they're playing with used clubs that are actually available to you for a high value. They're about five to 10 years old, sometimes even older. I call these clubs the modern classic. to second swing, they have these clubs in their inventory. I picked out eight of my favorite modern classics. I got drivers, fairway woods, hybrids, irons at tremendous values that are still being used on the PGA Tour. I'm gonna put each of the eight clubs to the test against my current clubs that I really use. This is a classic. They were so popular. And Cliff Walzak, he's a master fitter through the second swing system. He's gonna be helping me through this process. He helped fit Tiger Woods. I don't think I need to say too much more after that. All right, Cliff, first modern classic up. TaylorMade Tour Preferred MC 2011. I've always seen this as one of the best player's irons. The fact that it's 11 years old, you can get it for a pretty solid value at second swing. It is really exciting for consumers, and it was exciting that they had one available for me to even hit. Let's give these a run. Right away when I put it down, there's a reason why this club stands up to the test of time, because even as a cavity back, it's got a nice compact shape, minimal offset. They were a little bit before their time, Taylor made with this one. This weight port has become kind of famous. It's like a precision weight tuning port that they put in the back to kind of get that center of gravity. I was actually really surprised by how forgiving it was on the toe hits and a little bit low on the face, which obviously us golfers, we tend to miss it low on the face. Let's see if we can hit the center of the face. The spin rate was a little bit low, so if I'm coming into the green on a par four or trying to get to a tucked pin, might have a little bit of issue there. This is a top tier iron that's still available. Absolute steel. Clip, it's numbers time. Let's analyze this. What do you see? Well, that is a 22 degree four iron. And when I take a look at the numbers, I see nice speed, I see nice launch, but I see the spin on a side that, a lower side that I would associate maybe more with three iron, but that can be because of the stronger loft. And then if I look over here and I see launches that are within maybe just a little more than a degree of one another, mm. that's fantastic. And now no spin rate is above, you know, 4128. And here's your lowest one that was kind of roasted right there at 3,700. Yeah. Um, every land angle is above 45. You know, I, I kind of look at the numbers and the carry and the total are what they are. But if the numbers are doing what they should, you'll see a lot of consistency and a lot of great shots out of there. And that iron does it for you. So you're not concerned with that land angle, launch angle, spin rate, like this is within a window you would deem acceptable? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's what I think is so nice about how you hit that. Yeah. It's a nice combination of feel, distance, forgiveness, and getting that window properly too. Yeah. And you like it. That yeah. even makes it better. So I went with a 9.4 on this iron. It was really an honor to hit. I haven't hit this iron in probably 10 years, but it's definitely withstood the test of time. Really strong stuff here from the Taylor Made MC 2011. Definitely lived up to the expectations. There you have it, 9.4. Adam's Idea Pro, Tour Prototype. So I was definitely very impressed with this club. 